Bitcoin is banned, but blockchain is not banned. Blockchain can be used for all different kinds of applications. Hello and welcome everyone. If you're new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching my live show Musings with Software Engineers. If you're new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you're new and want to grow fast in the software industry, then subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you get all the updates. Sayande, sir, please discuss about blockchain. Surely, Sayan. Uh, so I was just having a chat with uh, Sayan on the comments and uh, Sayan has a question about blockchain. What is the scope of blockchain? And if you see the scope of blockchain, so first thing is that uh, blockchain Everybody knows blockchain because of Bitcoin. Okay, everybody who understands blockchain thinks that blockchain means Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin is just one application using the blockchain. Okay, and blockchain is nothing but it keeps a record of any kind of a transaction. Okay, transaction between two parties. So let's say if, if I want to give money to some friend Okay, I can create a ledger using blockchain technology and then I can I can uh, transact that money with my friend and that particular ledger will be there till that person gives me back the money and then again we can record that transaction. Okay, so we can create a kind of a ledger where let's say we want to create a ledger for people who are helping other people with money and uh, so it's a it's a temporary help. So we want to create that kind of a ledger. We can create it within blockchain. Okay. And the scope is very high. If you see on LinkedIn, you will see around 8,000 uh, jobs even today available in India on blockchain. And when you see 8,000 jobs in LinkedIn, usually there are four to five times more jobs than mentioned on LinkedIn. Okay. Similarly, worldwide, if you see, there will be 20, 22,000 jobs on blockchain. So if you can see out of the worldwide ratio of 22,000, 8,000 jobs are simply in India, which means that India is a big place where these technologies are being explored. Okay. And mostly blockchain technology will be explored where there is some kind of transaction where you have two parties and you want to maintain a record between those two parties. Okay. For example, let's say you want to buy a house. You can create a ledger for, for real estate transactions. Okay. And then in that ledger, we, we can do away with all the paperwork that goes on in, in whatever happens in the house transaction. And we can have a single ledger in which all the property transactions are mentioned. Okay. And these transactions will be stored in blockchain technology, stored using blockchain technology. There is something called as hyperledger. There are different ways of uh, doing blockchain, but the transaction will be stored within this particular ledger and the two parties, okay, who sold the house to whom that record will be maintained. And whenever again, the sale happens, you can, you can, uh, have a record of those sales also. Okay. So in that manner, blockchain is very important. It can be used in restaurants. It can be used in um rental properties real estate it can be used in logistics you know material coming out from one industry and going to another uh, material coming out of one company going to another company so all these criteria in within all these scenarios blockchain can be useful so blockchain is an upcoming it's not now upcoming because it's already a mature technology uh, medical records is a huge thing where uh, blockchain will be useful. So there is a huge scope of blockchain and uh, not a very difficult technology to learn if you understand data structures in C, C++ and if you understand linked list, then you will be able to understand how blockchain works. After that, it is all about uh, thinking about what application you want to build on top of blockchain. Okay, that is the whole point. So a uh, lot of companies are working on this. 
uh, some companies are working on research basis that is they are still experimenting for example banks are still experimenting because uh, the entire banking and finance sector was shaken up because of bitcoin there was a time i think two uh, two or three years back when the bitcoin and everything there was every day there were new currencies being created and this was all using blockchain and these currencies bypass the regular uh, currency of any country so then the reserve bank of india will not have a say in in bitcoins or uh, or any country will not have a say and that is also the reason why most of the countries ban bitcoins and other things but bitcoin is just a small part of the blockchain overall as a technology okay bitcoin is banned but blockchain is not banned blockchain can be used for all different kinds of applications okay so sayan i hope that um, answers your question and if you want to explore blockchain then um, it's an amazing place to go okay it's an amazing place to go i really hope that this session it helps everybody who joins this session so the most important part to do is subscribe to my channel also check the description of this video for my course on how to become a players thank you very much and see you on the next live